Rolex has a lot of amazing watches, and although they're borderline impossible to get retail, many of them are still in production. There are, though, a handful of steel models that, sadly, throughout the years, have been discontinued. These are five of the best Rolex models that are gone, but not forgotten. The last one is hands down my favorite, and it'll never make sense why Rolex discontinued it. First up is the Rolex Explorer 214 270. As Rolex's simplest sports watch model, the Explorer was traditionally available in only one size and material. 36 millimeters, stainless steel. However, over the last decade, Rolex has expanded the collection with new size options and even available a two-tone and a gold version. One of my all-time favorite Rolex watches ever is the Steel Explorer Reference 214 270, which is the only one that sports a 39mm case. Often considered the Goldilocks dimension for watches as it suits a wide range of wrist sizes. The watch made its debut in 2010 and then discontinued it in 2021. It is one of the best examples of a watch that is understated yet iconic, and robust yet luxurious. It makes sense that the Explorer is a favorite, and the 214-270 is a perfect example of an everyday watch. The second best discontinued steel Rolex is the 116-520. Before the stainless steel automatic, the Rolex Daytona got a Cerachrome ceramic bezel in 2016, which was furnished with the matching steel bezel engraved with the tachymeter scale. As much as we love the ceramic bezel on the Daytona, there's something to be said about a full stainless steel version like the 116-520 and the white dial. It's sporty, it's fresh, and it's a classic. The watch was the very last stainless steel Daytona paired with the steel bezel that Rolex produced, and it remains one of my top picks out of all of Rolex's chronograph watches. Up next is the Rolex Milgoss 116400. One of the biggest news in Watch and Wonders in 2023 was that the Milgoss was getting discontinued. Again. The first time was in 1988, and the brand revived its anti-magnetic model in 2007. It'll always remain a mystery why Rolex discontinued the Milgoss, but my guess is it was an often overlooked model in the vast collection of huge hits. They have been focusing more and more on precious metal and really pushing the platinum and gold agenda. It's one model that I can't help thinking about. The short-lived stainless steel Rolex Milgoss 116400 with the white dial. It has got to be one of Rolex's most fun watches thanks to the orange lightning bolt hands, orange hour markers, and the orange minute track on the crisp white dial. This eccentric watch is quite unlike anything else made by the brand. The fourth steel Rolex model that should never have left the catalog is the Rolex Mariner 16610LV. Greens of Mariners are some of the most beloved, and it was this reference that started it all. Launched to honor the 40th anniversary of the Submariner in 2003, the 16610 LV quickly picked up the Kermit nickname thanks to its striking green bezel on top of its stainless steel case. Although Rolex has since released two other Green Submariners, aka the Hulk and Sermit, the original remains as one of my favorites. Manufactured before the bigger cases and ceramic bezels of today, this particular variant hails from an era of the classic Rolex Submariner proportions and design. Last but definitely not least is the Rolex GMT Master II 16710. Rolex has been on a tear lately, adding new bezel colors to its prized GMT Master II collection of pilot watches. There's the blue and black Batman, the green and black Sprite, the brown and black Root Beer, and of course, the most famous of all, the blue and red Pepsi. Unfortunately, there's one obviously been missing for decades, the black and red Coke, which was actually the very first bezel color that introduced the GMT Master II watch in the 1980s. Who knows how long we'll have to patiently wait for Rolex to reintroduce this popular two-tone bezel into the collection, but hopefully it does.